I'm Doug Yamashita, Director of OEM Sales for the New York Blower Company, and today I'm joined by Mark Bublitz, Executive Vice President of Industry Affairs. Thank you, Doug. It's an honor to be with you today. Thank you, Mark. Today we are entering a new era in the fan industry. In November of last year, the California Energy Commission passed new legislation to add commercial and industrial fans and blowers into the Title 20 regulation on appliances. So Mark, can you tell us more about this regulation? Sure. This is a state regulation as opposed to a federal regulation. So it applies to the state of California. All products uh, sold or shipped into that state effective November 16, 2023. The Title 20 applies to appliances. So they've declared uh, commercial and industrial fans and blowers appliances and then they're subject to regulation. Commercial industrial fans and blowers now have to meet an energy efficiency regulation. That consists of a scope. Like the low end is one horsepower at the shaft. Mm -hmm. At the higher end, it's 150 air horsepower because what a fan delivers is flow and pressure. So that defines um, what the power range is. And then basically, if it looks like a fan, it's regulated. Okay. Can you tell us more about the energy metric to determine whether or not a fan is efficient enough? Yes. The metric used in the regulation is FEI, the Fan Energy Index. Basically, it's a ratio between how a fan performs at a given duty point compared to what um, the regulators determine is an acceptable fan. So there's how your fan performs versus how a reference fan performs. That sets up a ratio, which is greater than, equal to, or less than one. And um, in our scope, I like to say if it's greater than one, it's good. If it's less than one, it's bad. So products that display performance uh, where their FEI is less than one, they are not allowed to be sold into the state of California. Interesting. So do we expect to see a lot of fans removed from the marketplace that are not good? In general, what will happen is selections will become unavailable. That fan will not be able to be delivered to operate at that condition. So it's, it's, it's more complicated than just saying that's a good fan and that's a bad fan. It, it steps more into uh, can we make a better selection that delivers a more efficient operating condition than either some other product or that same product operating in a different condition. And how will they know that products meet this regulation? The burdens on the fan manufacturer the fan has to be capable of operating at at least one compliant point. And then it's up to the fan manufacturer to work with customers and sales representatives and how that product is presented to the market to guide the selection of the products only for compliant ranges. The typical selection process these days is to use a selection software. So customers typically enter flow and pressure and then the fan selection software, those selections won't will be marked as not available in the state of California. Now what about companies that purchase just wheels and inlets and don't buy complete fans? How are they affected? Ultimately that devolves into the question of like who's the manufacturer? The person or entity that assembles the rotating components and provides motive force to the fan becomes the manufacturer. And then that, that manufacturer is now responsible for complying with the regulation. What about the arena of replacement parts for fans that are already in the field? Uh, in general, replacement parts are grandfathered in. So as long as you don't uh, replace the entire fan, it's not subject to the regulation. So right now it's within shipments into the state of California and within the state of California. Do we expect it to promulgate to other states? Just recently, the U.S. Department of Energy has announced that they're moving forward with regulatory efforts for commercial industrial fans and blowers. So the federal regulation would supersede the California regulation. So regulation's here to stay and we, and we, will, we will be compliant with uh, all state and federal regulation. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Hopefully that has been beneficial to you to come up to speed on this new regulation and help you prepare.